For the past couple of days, I have been immersed in parking. Each box that I open seems to hold more than just things. It holds pieces of my life, reminders of the moments that shaped me, from old photographs and souvenirs to letters that I haven't read in years. Each item seems to be telling a story of my life. I don't know how many of you remember this, but these were the locks I had before I pulled sister locks. These were my locks back in the days. This is my hair. This is my hair. This is my hair. I washed and stored them and they smell so fresh. It's a bittersweet experience. I've come across memories that make me smile, laugh, or even shed a tear. Some things I've held on to for so long feels like anchors to the person that I used to be, while others remind me of how far I have come. We have some more currencies here. <laughs> this is my coin collection. I still have a collection of like, you know, the notes. But this is my coin collection and I'm sure the latest one has a lot of the Caribbean. Let's see. Yeah, we have some Barbados currency here. We have some Barbados money here. Commonwealth of the Bahamas. This is the Bahamas. This is British. Yeah, this is two pounds. But this is Ghana. I don't even know how much this is, but this is Ghana. Euros here. Queen Elizabeth. This is one one dollar oh this is the east card oh east caribbean dollar i have money from everywhere see this is haiti five goods from haiti as i prepare to close this chapter i can't help but feel a mix of emotions there is excitement for a new journey ahead but also a touch of sadness leaving behind what's familiar soon I'll be traveling to start a new chapter in my life and while change is never easy, it's always a chance to grow. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything, everything. <laughs> this is one of my favorite sites of Nairobi because of how green it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they close up? Let's check somewhere else. Now you're making you like me chicken? visit. You like chicken, eh? Chicken? Chicken. I think that's so great. Now you're making, you're making me to explore my country more. <laughs> like I've never been to GTC. Yeah, so this is GTC for our family. And I was telling her about this apartment called Josh It's our plan. It's coming up family. Just across the road, so you need something, you know what I mean? If you want to feel like you're in New York, uh -huh. yes, this area is like coming up to that style. Like that, um, you have chicken in here, galitos. No, chicken in, no, that's what you say, no. Eh? Uh, if they have Java or something, I just have coffee or, or something, yeah. or something different. Let me see, let's look here. There's a food court up here, I'm sure. <sighs> chicken in, galitos, I don't eat that. You don't eat that. Nah. <laughs> When I was a student. Yeah, the student. Yeah. Hi. Thank you. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. What kind of restaurant is this? Oh, it's a coffee shop. Yeah. Okay, cool. Bites and stuff. Oh, you don't have any bites? Oh. Okay. 
All right, thank you. Uh, this one, this one gives I love you... Nairobi, right? This oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, this is where people take the photos. Yeah. With I the sign. Which one? Okay. Here? So, you can ask. Hi. Is that Indian restaurant? Like Indian okay, food. that's fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I eat Indian food. When I travel even to countries that I don't know, yeah, yeah, what yeah. to eat, I eat. You'll always find an Indian restaurant. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like Indian food. Okay. Thank you. Um, you guys have none, right? You, get, you are the yeah, No, you can get, you can bring none. Yeah. How many? Oh, what's the size? One or two? Okay. okay. That's fine. That's fine. Welcome back to my relocation series. So today I'm flying out of Nairobi and I'm supposed to be heading to the airport right now. I have several suitcases and I'm running out of time. So we're going to talk some more once I get to the cab. So let me rush. Let me see you on the way to the airport. So in case this is your first time here, my name is African Tigress, a content creator from Kenya. And I'm so excited because at the moment I'm really making a decision that is major in my life in the sense that I'm going to be relocating, you know, to just go and experience something else. And I explained more about it in the previous episode. So in case you didn't watch that, scroll down two, three videos, you're going to see that. Anyway, let's rush to the airport. Let me get my cab and let's head to the airport. and free African tigress can't you see from Kenya's heart to distant lands she travels far where no one can over 50 lands she's been from the deserts to the green every place she leaves a mark shining bright she ignites the spark queen of the motherland oh yeah no one does it quite like her content king she's got the flair african tigress beyond compare i really make vlogs of my domestic flights here because i've done these countless times but this is a very special one it's a moment i want to capture keep and cherish forever as you might have noticed i'm traveling with some suitcases and each of these is packed with my personal belongings memories and souvenirs that i don't want to lose and they are headed home to my mom of course i trust her completely to keep them safe for me and knowing that they'll be in good hands brings a sense of comfort and reassurance as i move forward on my journey with every tale she takes us there adventure in the open air she captures magic with her lens from her homeland and beyond the beds if you are planning 
a trip to Kenya and want to avoid long hours of bus travel, consider taking domestic flights instead. Flights within Kenya are not only convenient, but also surprisingly affordable, especially if you book early. For instance, a one-way ticket from Nairobi to Almost any city in Kenya is going to cost you about 60 US dollars, making it a cost effective option for travelers who value time and comfort. Can you point the global star? She'll take you places near and far. With every clip she draws you in, living dreams where stories begin. Queen of the motherland When flying domestically in Kenya, it's important to plan ahead. Make sure you arrive at the check-in counter at least an hour before departure. This will give you enough time to go through the necessary procedures and avoid the stress of last-minute trash or worse, missing your flight entirely. Content King, she's got the flair. African tigers beyond compare. All right, so I'm um, now in the cab on the way to the airport. Right now, I hope I make it on time. I have about uh, 30 minutes. I think I have about 30 minutes. I should be there in 30 minutes and I have about 20 minutes. Like the gate closes in almost 30 minutes from now, but I have about 20 minutes. A little traffic. But I hope it's not so bad. In is acquired too much. Do you think this is too much? This traffic? No. It's not gonna be heavy. It's only here. It's only here. Why? Is there a. Uh... Yes, there's uh, no traffic, there's no uh, congestion of the road. Oh. The street from now after oh. this junction. Okay, I hope so. I don't want stress. No. You're okay. Alright. By choosing a flight, you'll save valuable time and enjoy the convenience of a faster travel, allowing you to focus on exploring all of the beauty that Kenya has to offer. But if you have a lot of time to explore Kenya, a road trip is a good way to also see the country. We finally made it to the airport. Having traveled to over 60 countries, I can confidently say that no airport I've visited has as many security checks as those in Kenya, especially this particular airport, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. The process starts right at the main gate. We had to step out of the car to go through security screening even before driving into the airport premises. Once at the terminal, the security checks don't stop there. Expect about three more screenings before you even board your flight. 
To make things easier for yourself, I highly recommend wearing shoes that are quick and easy to slip on and off as you'll need to do these multiple times. And don't forget the usual drill with laptops and other electronics. You'll need to remove them and place them separately during each screening. While this process may seem tedious, it's actually part of ensuring safety and security. You know, just plan ahead, get to the airport in time and stay patient and allow extra time for these procedures and you'll be good to go. Because I had so many bags to check in, I had a challenge trying to balance the weights between these bags at the check-in counter. Honestly, this process took so long that I thought that I was going to miss my flight. Like, as I'm still checking in, I could hear them announcing boarding of my flight. So immediately I was done, I literally had to sprint to the boarding gate and straight to the plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a domestic flight from Nairobi, Kenya to Kisumu, which is the country's third largest city. And this is likely my last flight on this route for the year. It's a quick flight, taking just about 50 minutes to cover that distance. In contrast, if you were to travel by road, the same trip would have taken you approximately seven hours. Flying is undoubtedly, you know, the most convenient option when you want to save time and energy. And it's also a chance to sit back, relax, and enjoy the view from above. In no time, we were landing in my home city after a smooth 47 minute flight. 
It was a moment filled with mixed emotions, excitement at the thought of spending some precious time with my family, and sadness knowing it might be quite a while before I can return again. And the familiar sights below brought comfort, yet they also served as a bittersweet reminder of how much I'll miss this place once I leave. <music> These images are some of the major landmarks that you should definitely check out when you visit Kisumu. Leaving the airport in Kisumu. Welcome to Kisumu, Kenya, my favorite city in the entire country. If time permits, I would love to create a video, you know, to show you around this vibrant and beautiful city. However, I might just focus on cherishing moments of my family this time around. And either way, Kisumu is home and I can't wait to soak it all in. Well, so now let's drive out of the airport and give you the first impressions of probably what you're going to say when you visit Kisumu. So here are the first impressions from the airport. <music> Mbolo, my daughter. Sua 
in my home city let me tell you a little bit about kisumu so like i mentioned earlier this is the third largest city in kenya after nairobi and mombasa and it is located in the western part of kenya on the shores of lake victoria and did you know that lake victoria is africa's largest freshwater lake and i think it's the second largest freshwater lake in the world well now you know thing that you should know is that the original name for Lake Victoria was Namlolwe and this city was founded in 1901 and it was a port city for the Uganda Railway, the Kenya Uganda Railway and during those times they used to call this city Port Florence. <laughs> so much for watching this episode i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think in the comment section below don't forget to hit the like button share and subscribe and i'm definitely gonna see you on the next episode until then kwaheri oriti <laughs> bye bye